We're starting with a package of Oreos. Firstly, slide the packaging off. Then, we're gonna take the Oreos and put them in a bag. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. My sexy is definitely not coming back. Um, we're just gonna do this in a normal voice going forward. Make sure that the bag that you use is a good freezer style bag from Ziploc or something similar. You need the thicker plastic so that the Oreos don't break through them when you start crushing them. Once you get your Oreos in the bag, squish the air out of it so that the bag doesn't accidentally pop when you're crushing it. Crush them all up finely like you're crushing on your old high school crush. Next, in a bowl, we're going to pour half a cup of melted butter. <gasps> butter is my favorite food. Pour in your bag of crushed Oreos and mix them thoroughly. I suppose you could say you need to make your Oreos wet. Next, you'll take your Oreo mixture and put it in a 9 by 13 inch pan. We'll try to get it as even as possible, so the finer you crush your Oreos, the easier it'll be to spread them out. When you have it to your liking, Put it in the fridge for 10 to 15 minutes so that the butter will harden up. While your crust is in the fridge, we'll start making the layers. We'll need chocolate pudding, vanilla pudding, cream cheese, and two packages of powdered Dream Whip. When buying your pudding, make sure that you get the four serving size of pudding and not the six serving size of pudding. If you get the six serving size, it'll get too big to fit. In the pan, I mean. Prepare your two puddings and your Dream Whip according to the instructions on the boxes. Then in a large mixing bowl, you put your cream cheese and whip it at high speeds. If it's too thick, you can add some milk to make it creamy. Then you're going to take your bowl of Dream Whip and put about half of it in with your cream cheese. When you mix this together, just fold it gently together with a spatula. Retrieve your crust from the fridge and then spread your cream cheese Dream Whip mixture evenly over the surface. Once that's done, you're going to do the same thing with your prepared vanilla pudding and then your prepared chocolate pudding. For the fifth layer, you'll take the rest of your Dream Whip and spread it evenly over the top. And finally, you can decorate the top of your pudding however you like. I chose to use mini chocolate chips, but you can also drizzle caramel or chocolate sauce. I know some of you will be out here like Denethor with your chocolate sauce. Now I challenge you to make this for a treat day at your office. Down in the comments, tell us what your HR manager said when you tell everybody that you brought sex in a pan to work. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and give a like if you want to.